Hello and welcome to Solution Code. In this video, we'll see what directory structure do CodeIgniter follows. So let's download the CodeIgniter. So here, this is the official website of CodeIgniter, www.codeigniter.com, and here is the version which is the latest version of 3.1.2 I'll just download it and you can see that the zip has started to download so guys you can see that the zip has been downloaded successfully and now let's extract it to my XAMPP htdocs by creating CI tutorials and I'll just extract this here so uh, the files are extracted let me remove everything outside that folder and let me delete the zip okay so this is the structure of code igniter so basically we get three folders and index.php file other are just the json source and uh, license and readme kind of things you just have to focus on the three folders and an index file so in this video we'll see what is this directory structure and let me do one thing let me change my default program to sublime okay let me add a project here ci tut tutorials okay so basically you can see that let me remove the other folders too So you can see that we have three main folders application system and user guide with an index.php file. So basically uh, index.php is the main or you can say the first controller where your request is sent and from here the request is directed to the controller what is called. So the first request which comes from your web browser goes to the index.php and then to the controller so uh, you can see that there are three folders application which has several kind of folders in it system and user guide so first let's see what is a user guide folder so user guide is guys nothing but the documentation what you see here when you go inside the documentations and you just go to read online documentation so this is the user guide so when we see what what is this folder about this folder is the offline version of the documentation for example I don't have the net internet connection so I can just go to uh, this folder I can just access this folder access the folder and I would see the same thing what is shown on the online documentations 
next let's see what is a systems folder systems folder is the folder in which all the uh, code igniter functionalities are stored for example all libraries all helpers and database connections and everything which a code igniter provides all the framework related things are stored inside this system folder so i request you not to do any manipulations in this folders let this folder be as it is so this folder has its core folder which has all the all the libraries for so similarly we have the database folder in which we have the drivers and all the database related files same fonts helpers we have all the helpers and languages libraries etc now the main thing is the applications folder you have to use this folder to create your websites or web applications so inside this application folder again we have several folders in it so the main folders inside the application which you are going to going to use mostly are the config folder controllers models views and helpers so and libraries if you create custom libraries and helpers if you create a custom helpers so currently you need not need to worry about it we'll see it in the further tutorials so let's see what inside config folder in the config folder we have several files which are very important for the web applications which we uh, which are made on code igniter so first thing is the autoload.php so this file is basically the autoloader kind of thing which is used to load automatically the libraries helpers or any drivers if you want to load automatically when the website loads so you need not need to call each libraries to use their functionality as we have written that library in the auto load functions so for example if you want to load some packages you can do that by mentioning the package name and path for example if i want to load some libraries so i'll give the uh, name of the library inside this array drivers for example i want to load some drivers so similarly helpers so here they have given an example how to load helpers so you would just give the name uh, separated by the comma so you can load many helpers at a time okay and yeah basically this is the file which you require to auto load uh, which you required when you need some files to be auto loaded by default next thing is the database.php so any of the applications nowadays needs some database connectivity and as they are dynamic so here is the file where we see all the database configurations so here is a host name username password database database drivers and many other things so this is the second file which is mostly used and the third file which is very essential is the routes.php this is used for routing the websites so for example if you see that now the default controller is a welcome controller so basically you don't need to worry about it now I'll go through it step by step and we'll see that in the next uh, tutorial next lecture and uh, so this are the three main files in the config folder which you need to know the auto load which is used to auto load some of the files libraries or helpers or database kind of things database.php is used for configuring the database 
routes or PHP to let the controller know where to move or where to go okay so this is the configs folder second thing is a controller what is a controller controller is the main thing in this MVC pattern all the flow which uh, all the requests which are made from the browser comes to the controller and then controller fetches the data from model and loads the view right so basically controllers are written like this so you are going to make controllers in this controllers folder you need not need to worry about the code we are going to see it in the coming videos so inside controllers you can make controllers and uh, models here is the models folder in which we are going to make our models which are used to connect to database and fetch data from database and this is the view folder where we are going to create our view which would be visible to our end users so basically this is the directory structure of code igniter and there's nothing much to know about it now and as we will move on in the further lectures we'll see each things in more deep and more ex with more explanations thank you for watching guys hope you like this video if you like it please share and comment below if you have any doubts thank you